Hi, I'm Brain Freeze 9876, and wow, it's been a while since I've actually recorded this, so yeah, we're on part 27 of Roku, and I have no idea why I've got my uh, mullet, or no, this is a prime MC Large Fry oh. in the motherfucking house. And excuse me, uh, MC Large Fry is it? Yeah, here's your cheese. MC burger. Large Fry oh. in the hip hop burger. That's the primer. But yeah. Alright. I believe we were still collecting. We were still collecting. You heard me, you punk ass? Yeah, I, I heard ya. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, are you gonna do we were still collecting. Hat or package house. parts or whatnot. Don't you mean? I can't even find my words today. Crap. Yo, man, cancel that is order. Hip-hop burger would say... I imagine... Uh, I, not to be racist, but... I, I'd imagine this ad would be appearing on this station. Not this one. Uh, hello, caller, you're on the air! Kimberly, I just wanted to call to say that you give me a very big boner. Did he say... Blueprints. Sir, I do don't... you have a question? No, but I have a boner. Very big. Very, very big. Really? Sir, bite me. Next caller. <laughs> you guys, my wife doesn't like to give me oral sex. Is there any way I can ask her that might change her mind? Interesting question. What I do when Bastion won't go down on me, I just start pointing at my crotch and saying, Looky, looky, daddy needs the milky. Damn. <laughs> I want you to hit it like a pit bull on a chew toy. Sir, please don't listen to Blake's pornographic nursery rhymes. Hello? What I would do is try talking to her in a calm voice. A million... No, how much oral sex means to you? I've tried all that. Nothing seems to work. Well, try getting her good and drunk. Women love this. Then slowly pop it in her mouth. Hello, sailor! Oh, yeah? What if she bites it? You just want things handed to you, don't you? You know, cash always works. Try cash. That's it. I think that's the way to do it. I'll call back and let you guys know how things work out. Right. You guys rock. This one's gonna Thanks, be difficult. Caller. Do you honestly think that'll work? He'll call back from the emergency room, but you gotta try, right? So true. <laughs> I've had this one on hold for a while. This is gonna get you see. Caller, you are on the show. What's up? Hi, Blake and Kimberly. Thanks for taking my call. Alright, where is the stupid thing? thing? Jackpot! Let me ask you something. Do you love them? Oh no, I just like having two men around. They get so much done around the house. That's a major positive, girl. They don't know about each other, do they? Not yet. I want them both to live with me and be happy to share their time with me. I mean, I'm not asking for the world here, am I? Just to be able to have two men and a beck and call. Sister, you're like a fine wine. You should be shared between friends. I wish I had this to lunch. Okay. Don't we all? Look, I wouldn't tell them. Mm, man, I'm not Remember really stupid. feeling up to The chance of these men finding out about each other is impossible, so also, as long as they get great sex, they'll do everything forget. that you ask them to. Oh god, I'd be in heaven. So you think I should continue to lay them on and lie? Oh, Jesus is gonna get mad. <laughs> Hello? I think that's what we're saying. Okay. Thank you for the hail. Bye-bye now. Damn, that would be awesome to have two men around all the time to fix my stuff. It's not as great as you think. Just a little rough on the tuck if you know what I mean. Too much so info, Blake. That's how well, the phone lines are lining up like a drag queen at Mardi Gras. Let's take another call. Okay. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Yes. Well, my life partner flirts with every guy we meet. I mean, it's like I'm not even okay, there. Good. Uh, for instance, we like Dude, to go to the King of Paradise City, but okay? And I just go crazy. Well, I cannot be doing missions right now. How so feeling? Well, Damien will come on also. in, and he will chat up every counter boy, every bus boy, and every decrepit old man in the place. Oh God, they're bus boys. Also, and I just think that is flat out disrespectful. Time to get it is disrespectful. Time to refill some BGM ammo because and yell and beat that guy. Because that oh, weapon's awesome. Me? I plan on God showing to you just how awesome it is. We've been for two years now. We picked out wallpaper together. Now, now, settle down, kitten. I, too, know the sting of being taken advantage of. Men can be such men sometimes, can't they? I remember back in college. Oh, no. Here we go, down memory lane. What? It was a very special time for me. I was just coming into my own, you know, sexually, so to speak. I was just learning to love myself for who I was and not for who the world wanted me to be. 
Anyway, there was this gorgeous poli-psych professor who I just worship. Well, one thing led to another, and the next thing I know, he invites me to move into his little one-bedroom apartment. Can you believe it? Oh, at first it was just paradise. We'd stay up late. Lord, <laughs> uh, these stories on one of It was a magical time. Or the dialogue station are just the best. It's breathtaking. He taught me how to really spread my wing, so to speak. It's a really common no, I bet they'll especially be appealing to certain a certain a ball game. eater. And he was my blue ball father. eater. Well put. Well it didn't last. It never does. After a while he started taking the adoration I had for him for granted. I should have known at the moment he started calling me his little backdoor man. But I was blind, just the blind! I was intoxicated with passion, with romance, with sheer unconditional lust. We get the idea, Blake. No! No, I don't think you do, Kimberly! Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. Thank you. Well, anyway, it soon <laughs> became apparent that I'd just become another one of his little boy toys, to be walked all over and discarded whenever he became tired of me. I felt so you. That's exactly how I feel. I mean, when you're in a relationship, you should be devoted to your Ooh, partner got the Omega. and your partner only. I mean, I would never just start flirting with a total stranger, especially when I'm in a relationship like I am right now. And I just passed an, an Omega. What do you look like? <laughs> oh, well, you don't, I don't really athletic. need the Omega, but... Athletic build. Athletic. I work out. Might use it for the don't races. Don't listen to her. She's just jealous. Oh, I won't. Please, just go on. I have black, wavy hair that I sometimes pull into a bun. I have <laughs> only the latest fashion. Jeez Louise, you sound smoking hot. Are you the only thing that they and long hair? Alright, well, so... What's on the menu. Oh my, we should hook up. I mean, really um, hook up, you know what I'm saying? After this, I will... Well, I'm... I think we should go in, in only a few parts, I'll be done with this. With Roadkill, so I want to know what you want me to do for the next... Are you looking for some loving? For my next game, after Roadkill. I have two choices currently on the table. One is either Gran Turismo 4, and the other is... I can't think of it right now. Oh, there's The Simpsons Hit and Run, that one. So um, it's pretty much down to those two, I think. Cigar box. But, <laughs> I'm yeah, sucker. <laughs> I'm always there to help you out with yes. cigar needs. We are the only store with a humidor with a water bed. Bill Clinton. We feel your pain. So come on down, and if you got some hot chicks with you, I'll give you 50% off. As long as you'll give me one of the ladies, because I love the ladies. Come on down. Hey, I'm going to play a little tune on my saxophone. That'll cheer me up. Okay, we're back. By the looks of Blake over there, uh, I think he swallowed a canary. Yes. Swallowed something. Well, I think that we was get back the to the phone line see if we can help someone with That was ourselves. Bill Clinton so in this game. Okay, caller, not, can you hear me? Well, not yes, actually Bill Clinton, my but... My <laughs> question is, how come... <laughs> they made him survive the apocalypse. Me as I, have <laughs> I have no idea here. what. I think they're just intimidated by your vagina. I Ooh, I got all the I don't prints, know what it so is, but they won't ever do I it. guess it's actually I time to so. go on with the mission. Me, if you know what I mean. Judith, is there a counseling center or something I can see in my man too? I'm afraid there isn't, but maybe one day this will change. I wish I could help you, but my hands are tied on this one. Sorry. I just wish we could have helped. Blake, don't take it so hard. We'll be bound. Caller, we're here to help. All right. Hey, guys. Uh, quick one. Do you know any, uh, prostitutes? Saving, just in case. Take a check. I used to. I also did layaway for a while. You have to be careful. I was cool that jump off the ground and shot missile. Here, because I don't roll like that. I represent a group called I'll Gap. You and all. Gentlemen against Stew Pickles. And we are currently boycotting your little show. We do, however, have to listen to it because we got to know down. And then at your leisure, you can make it explode just by pushing your butt boom if you want to lay yeah, it down in but case you that, say they're right behind you anyone's the wondering why i now if you want to just lay a few down on the corner tuck around and wait for someone to come around and then blow it up you can do why it. i've been like listening to it's these three stations thing. and not like point that you decide like q q q q classic it rock work. It, it's up to because you because i'm i get if i were to try and play that problems, uh, and i did my in my very first episode i get hit i asked for the check 
All right, the, I leave, okay. Basically, so the video would be banned in Germany. Much, sir, I enjoyed <laughs> my dinner extremely. Next thing you know, I'm... Why is that chick everywhere? Like, they, they could have done better at this, the apartment. Yo, you looking for someone, pencil neck? It's not you, football boy. Yo, if you got business with South Lee, you talk to me. I know you? Yeah. You're the one off Woody and wasted Gordon Grimm. Yeah, I couldn't help myself. So what brings you here? I'm looking for the guy in charge. That'd be Coach Knox. He's one bad dude, if you know what I mean. Knox runs this town, huh? No, punk ass. Knox runs South League. It's Axel and his damn signals that rule this town. At least for now. Axel, huh? You know Axel. Well, let's just say we go way back. Look, like, I don't know if you're interested or not, but I got a job that needs there's to There's no way Mason would have known that Axel... The job's simple, really. A weekly bribe, if you will. We like to sauce up the Sentinels with a special little brew of ours. Why don't you head out back? You can make a few deliveries for me. That's and carefree, that's me. Not to be too cute. Get to the house, boom! You no heard the man. Let's make a beer run. Pull around to the back of the nightclub. Good, I gotta... Yeah. I gotta have a better vehicle for this? Yeah, I think I gotta have a better vehicle for this, so... Actually, I'm gonna try and... I'm gonna see how far I can get it with this. But yeah, there's no way Mason doesn't know that Axel runs Paradise City. So, like, there's no way. That's one fresh... First stop, Paradise City Hospital. Let's get moving. I'm driving like Bernie. Now that was a fucking piece of cake, my friend. Go grab another drink from the nightclub. Next stop, City Hall. one frustrating like the plot seems to conflict with itself so far, so a lot good. next stop is the paradise city police department sentinel headquarters but come on i wonder if i really did pick the right vehicle for this oh i'm too late for that now you're too late for regret and head over to the warehouse to make the next delivery. What the hell are you doing? People are getting thirsty around here. Yeah, it's because alcohol hydrates you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, it may hydrate Bernie and air, but that's because their bodies are 90% pure ethyl alcohol anyway, so... <laughs>
should be okay. your regularly scheduled programming for the following late breaking news report. The Section 8s executed Gordon Grimm yesterday in what appeared to be a full-scale assault. General Warwick has reported that although the leader is dead, the war is still not over and he will not rest until every last Talon is hunted down and killed. He will also not rest until he smokes, eats a bowl of mini cheese dangles, and finds a pretty woman he can quote, rub one out on. Keep the dream alive, General. News on the hour, on the half, and when we're forced to tell you, I'm Heath McGillibride. <laughs> Heath McGillibride had, must have, have like a pretty crappy job. Anyways, it, this has been Brain Freeze 976 saying, next part, races. The final race-y part. Alright, peace.